Hi guys, DefaultXYZ, and we are back with Headhunter Redemption. And of course, last time we left off uh, pretty much just trying to get a Codebreaker software so that we can start hacking things, but mainly we managed to find Shay, and we have to now uh, shut down the reactors because they're going to melt down. <laughs> Uh, but what I have to do is something. <laughs> Your surveillance. All right, so this is open. Med back. Oh, reactive facility. Okay. I guess I'm a little bit closer than I thought. <laughs> Explosives. Smith and Easton, high impact plastic explosive with embedded short range receiver. Receiver enables remote triggering and, uh, and synchronized explosions. Can be detonated manually by shots from a weapon. So, I pretty much do just simple explosives that you can set off. I mean, I guess think of it as like satchel charges, I guess. Let's see, strong electric current radiating from power condensers, electricity routed to power distributors in the yard. Power condenser is automatically deactivated if power distributor fails. Destroy the three power distributors in the yard. Hmm. This kind of somewhat gives me a map. If I can even read it, it's kind of. I mean, this is not high def here, but essentially, I got to. I got to take care of the condensers in order to get through here, unfortunately, because I'm going to get fried by the electricity. So, okay, I know one of them was here. Got one distributors. Or damaged stone wall can be destroyed with explosive or heavy physical impact. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Another Amuse emblem. Oh, 
that one's an M. Well, let's see, since I'm here, I could try destroying the fans, couldn't I? Pumps oxygen from above to colonies below uh, can be destroyed with explosives. Alright. So I need more of these. I don't want to waste them. Otherwise, I think I have to probably go all the way back down just to just get some more. Oh, well, of course, it's also here. More plastic. And that's it. Huh. I thought it would be something else here. Okay. Well, I guess by process of elimination, the last one should be here. Condensers have been shut down. Proceed to reactor chamber. Oh, well, let's just order some more enemies. <laughs> and also, luckily, I managed to take down the electricity here in the in the yard. Anything here? Maybe? Huh? Drowning booster. Any first aid or anything like that? Nope. Guess not. Oh, thought it would have been something. For gas. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Alright, so this is where I'm at right now. One. Jackhammer. <laughs> uh, Hack job power handgun manufactured illegally by opposition, so it's not even officially released to the public. Fires custom made ammunition while aiming 
press X to fire. So essentially, what the jackhammer is is a uh, it's pretty much a powerful magnum. I mean, I just think of it kind of like a desert eagle. Sense of this gas puzzle. Trying to grab the thing in front of me here. Frag tech grenades. Manufacturer Smith and Easton. Anti personnel fragmentation grenade explodes several seconds after armed. Uh, while aiming, hold circle to arm, release to throw, the ho uh, hold circle longer for a longer throw. <laughs> okay. Which, actually, I kind of do like how they made the grenades in this game because comparing it to how it was in the first game where you're basically just throwing grenades at, at two only at two different distances kind of made it a little awkward to control station access. <laughs> Fly off. Let's see. Try to grenade. Uh, well, I guess if you can really aim the grenades pretty well, you can almost essentially take down an enemy with just one uh, shot from a grenade. the reactor now. Overload overload imminent imminent raise power reverse to stabilize. Right. I'll do that while I'm getting shot. Yeah, I know it's important to try to prevent the meltdown. Jesus almost dead.
pump. <laughs> like going up and down. <laughs> Okay, well, something. Oh, well, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Had to do that first. Conductors align with power converters. Raise power converters to get them back online. Let's try this again. <laughs> There's more. Two down. Oh shoot. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Was he using a uh, jackhammer himself? My god, I almost died. Oh man, I'm also getting shot. My multiple angles. Oh, good. Kick back, Jack. The reactors are safe and the city's juice. Maybe I'm citizen material after all, huh? Almost big compliment there. Uh, locate Shay and question her about Project Icarus. <laughs> I guess that was a close call, I almost died. I'm gonna take my machine gun bullets. That's a drone. <laughs> like all of a sudden, a kind of a difficulty spike. <laughs>
back at the colony yard. <laughs> Bullets, got some giant hammer shells. says that. <laughs> Take the missile launcher. Oh, man, he did drop something. Axis card. All right. The next chapter, I guess you want to call it. I don't know. Tunnels to manufacturing, a part of the network of tunnels connecting to the colonies below, also transports goods and supplies between above and below. Tunnel systems automated, inmates forbid to enter, security systems in place to prevent unauthorized movement. Hmm. So it looks like I'm making my way into manufacturing. Okay, chain question about Project Icarus. Again. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I was trying to do this without getting caught. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I have no choice but to use last med pack. <laughs> I tell the hope I get more. I 
I, mean, I, I keep using my med packs more often here than I did in the first game, mainly for the fact that dying here is a little bit more punishing. Uh, I mean, I, I think I did say this in the first playthrough, but or the first session, but if you die, unfortunately, you don't just go back to the last checkpoint you're in, you go back to the last save spot you're in. Uh, I mean, granted, you know, if you make it to, like, another uh, chapter area of the game, and that's kind of considered a, a save, uh, so to speak, but... Well, I, I guess, but the thing is, you have to actually actively save the game. Uh, so you had to make sure that you always save the game at any moment, or try to save the game at any moment. <laughs> Granted, I'm kind of playing a little bit recklessly by not doing that. Because like I said, they only, you, know, you only can go back to where you last saved. So if, for instance, I guess if you didn't save since like back in the tutorial chapter, well then that's the, that's the last spot you're going to be going, unfortunately. Level 2 code disc. Let's see. Easy. Let's see. Okay. Uh, all right. Top one is moving across. Let's move it this way. The middle one is moving down, and the bottom one is moving across. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> it's got level two. Dive down some kind of tunnel. I'm guessing this is the route in for manufacturing. Stay out of those tunnels. You hear me? It's dangerous in there. Hints of menace out here, too, Jack. I'm not fooling around, Blazer. They got to me. It's a shame. These things are lethal. Figure I can make it if she can. I'm telling you, Jack, there was a definite wow factor when I mentioned Project Icarus. My view? Chase piling up weapons in there ready for her revolution. It's too risky. Get yourself hell to screw up. We're both out of business. I'll do whatever, Jack, but I don't live by osmosis to anyone called Stern. And I took enough of you ain't gonna from the farmers. This Che has a plan and an attitude problem, and I aim to make an adjustment to the problem. Okay. <laughs> so, Zipper Girl are going in tunnels. Alright, so well, before I do that. Adrenaline. Okay. Seems like I'm maxed out now. Actually, you know what? Go for the jackhammer. <laughs> okay, something tells me there's gotta be some trouble. Careful because they can explode on impact. Oh, hard. 
I was going to be dealing with some massive machines. Steel bar gate raised. And more jackhammer shells. Okay. And we have some explosives. So watch your own. I, mean, I have a lot of those first time plastics, plastics, ugh. Hang of bullets. Let's see. Wait, know, the thing I kind of wish you could have kept from the first game here anyway would be the, uh, the way how you aim onto random objects, um, like in the first first Headhunter game, whenever you like aim at barrels, for instance, that like, you would just target it directly, you know, automatically. You didn't have to actually. Yeah, I mean the problem is here you have to stop, scan the object, and then you can actually target it. I mean I don't know what sense that really makes, but I mean it is what it is. this when one laser is going faster than the other but they keep alternating back and forth
Do I have any more? Yeah. <laughs> I need more med packs. So there's something here. Oh my god. A small med pack. <laughs> With our non doing and Ricardo. That's right, Geraldo. Or maybe it's Romaldo. Ralph just seems so out of place. I don't think I see anything else. I need to... Well, I need to get the power going for one thing, but I need to get the... the freight going as well. Here, I was kind of hoping for some med packs, even some adrenaline. Everything from Stone Corp. I wonder what this means. Manufacturing. Industrial colony producing goods for city above. Hard labor for brutal, for brutal but physically resilient offenders. <laughs> uh, also houses dangerous and polluting production processes. Weapons components made in secure areas for automated assembly. <laughs> so they're making all the weapons down here in manufacturing. I mean, that's essentially what manufacturers is just making all the stuff, all the goods, and sending them to above, and usually all the criminals are the ones who are in manufacturing. Find information about Project Icarus. Got close to Don't shoot me. Uh, well, okay. I guess that works. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Anything here? Med pack. That's good. Scanning Colony Systems Database. Let's see what we get. 
Fuse panels provide power distribution of column. They place fuse and fuse panel. So yada yada yada. Downloading map. Fuse panels located. Hmm. All right. So it seems like I got another puzzle going on with fuses. And this requires level three. So really at this point, the only... <laughs> is there anything upstairs I missed? Hang of bolts. Uh, that's really it. Huh. Got a little bit more stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I, I guess really at this point it's only... The elevator. <laughs> I have to go down to the furnace. Custom M720 shotgun. <laughs> okay, manufacturer Greening, one handed assault shotgun, heavily modified legacy weapon, not officially licensed, very powerful at short range, spread reduces impact at distance. Uh, yeah, so, so it's essentially just a shotgun. <laughs> but, well, I guess you can use one handed. Let's see, oh, good thing. More grenades. <laughs> uh, well, well, that, that's powered off, but unfortunately, I do need the other power. <laughs> So I mean, this is kind of how it is. I'm just having to mess around with multiple power sources at once. <laughs> All right, so I was saying I need a power. Well, two things. I need a power source here to open this door, and then I will need to have another power source because I need to get the freight going because there's lasers, if I remember correctly. <laughs> That should really be it, because I'll probably call it right about here. Yeah, I don't want to get too far into this, because I actually think I'm almost close to being done with this first main mission. I guess you want to call it that. <laughs> first chapter, whatever. Yeah, so almost kind of to chain finding out information about Project Icarus, whatever that is. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Double XYZ, and until next time.